Hello. Today is Friday, August 9th, 2024. This is a sideshow. I'm Theodore Parker. Coming to you from Lexington, Kentucky. The weather today, the high will be about 87 degrees. Currently, it's around 69 degrees and feels like 69 degrees. A few clouds, highs in the upper 80s and lows in the low 60s. Uh, the effects of Debbie bring stormy Friday to the northeast. Today, sunrise was at 6.48 a.m. and sunset will be at 8.37 p.m. Wind around 5 miles per hour. The HUI is moderate at 52 and pollen is moderate. As I said, this is a sideshow. I'm Theodore Parker. If you're watching the sideshow on Facebook and Instagram, don't forget to like, comment, and share. Talk about it on WhatsApp. If you're watching the sideshow on YouTube, like, comment, share, and subscribe. And the sideshow coffee cup, buy from me for $17 plus shipping and handling. Pay me. <laughs> through Cash App. My Cash App tag is dollar sign TR Parker one. So Friday, again, August 9th. Find out that there are items in the news. As they say, what's in the news? Well, we can start with the Olympics. Um, especially since this is going to be the last weekend. I have one question right off the bat. Uh, how many events and how many athletes are participating in the 2024 Olympics in Paris? So, information as follows. The 2024 Paris Olympics will feature 10,714 athletes competing in 329 events across 32 sports. The games run from July 26 to August 11th, 2024. Athletes, the United States has the largest presence with 594 athletes, followed by France with 572 and Australia with 460. Four countries are sending just one athlete each, Belize, Liechtenstein, Nauru, and Somalia. Events. Of the 329 events, 28 are in core sports that were also featured in the 2016 and 2020 Summer Games, Olympic Games. Breaking makes its Olympic debut while surfing, skateboarding, sport climbing, and three-on-three -three basketball return for their second games. Sports. The Olympics will feature 45 different sports, including 41 considered mainstay Olympic sports. Nations. 206 nations will participate, including the AIN and the EOR teams. Venue. The opening ceremony will take place at the Jandon de Trasadoro and the sign and the closing ceremony and athletes competition will be held at the Stade de France. The 2024 Paris Olympics will be the sixth largest in history in terms of participation with about 900 fewer athletes than the all-time record set in Tokyo in 2021. As they say, don't try this at home. <laughs> Entertainment purposes only, but in recognition of all those that participated and helped along the way, I thought I would put that out there. So, Olympics. 
you're watching the events, you're watching the athletes. What about the commercials? Usually, well, sometimes, watching TV, programs on, commercial comes up, you get up to go do something and come back in time enough for your program to resume. Commercials for the 2024 Olympics. Leslie Jones, I don't know. I never met a Gemini before <laughs> and all that comes out of that. And children imitating the athletes celebrating their win. A little bit of this, a little bit of that, a little knee action, a little other little dance. <laughs> and also the wonderment and surprise and admiration at their accomplishments with the athletes that they are familiar with. And of course, the individual stories of things that happened along the way and what it took to get there and who helped, who helped. So the Olympics is a constantly unfolding story. As I say, real-time events at the Olympics, track and field is happening in seconds and minutes. If it's just a run, 100 meters, 200 meters, seconds, Mississippi 1, Mississippi 2, Mississippi 3, Mississippi 4, Mississippi 5, and so forth and so on. And if it's around the track, as in the women's and men's steeplechase, minutes, but still, 808 was the record. The steeplechase, something I've never seen before, reminds me of that song, 808. Speed climbing, Mississippi 1, Mississippi 2, Mississippi 3, Mississippi 4, Mississippi 5, Mississippi, and it's over. 5.995 versus 5.997. Say blink and you might miss it. Noel Lyles diagnosed with COVID-19. Say what a difference a day makes. If this had been in the middle of the pandemic and I have a personal story, I would, when the pandemic was on, I did receive a respiratory diagnosis and I did have paperwork that said COVID-19 negative, but I had to go through 14 days of quarantine, uh, follow the medication schedule, and I could hardly get up from the side of the bed and walk across the room. And then most recently when I was diagnosed with COVID-19, medical wonders, five days quarantine, and a medication schedule. That's after two vaccinations and three booster shots. So Noel Lyles is fortunate that he caught it and was diagnosed on this side of the pandemic and not during the middle of the pandemic. And we know who we can thank for all of that. So he participated, won gold in the 100 men's meter men's 100 meter race and wanted to repeat that for the 200 meter which he did participate in but again um it took a lot out of him so both occasions was wheeled off the field uh in a wheelchair but he was communicating with the medical staff and you know didn't seem to require any other assistance other than the wheelchair and a little sip of water and a chance to or his breathing to return to normal. So, I wanted to also, in the in a, in a sense of humor, mention short people. You may or may not be aware that there is a song entitled Short People, and that's based on women, 5'3", five, 5'5", five, five, men, 5'7", five, 5'9", five, up to that, have really been performing during the Olympics. I mean, camera angles don't really get it, let us appreciate, you know, the height uh, of some of these athletes compared to how they are performing. So, to quote something, 
The only short thing about my brother is his height. That's a direct quote. So, celebrations are in order. Top stories in the news. Trump's press conference was not good, but he's still better for America than Harris. Who said that? All right, came from over there. Personal finances of Walls and Vance show stark differences. More than half in new research poll have unfavorable view of Supreme Court. Uh, that's a Pew, P-E-W research poll, have unfavorable view of the Supreme Court. Democrats troll Fox News Ingram after Minnesota gaffed. Texas Governor Abbott instructs hospitals to collect patients' immigration status. And there was a new group, well, group that I am not aware of having participated in the Olympics previously, was um, refugee, refugee representation uh, in events at the games. Columbia University deans resign after sending disparaging text messages with anti-Semitic troops. Um, this refers back to when college campuses were putting out information that was deemed to be of educational value about anti-Semitism and other concepts that people are exposed to and may not have all the information pertaining to. So some of these deans in text messages you know, had disparaging things to say, so now they have resigned once this was discovered. U.S. men's basketball team rallies to beat Serbia at Paris Olympics will face France for gold medal. This was kind of interesting because there was an interview with Charles Barkley and he was praising the Olympics having come through um, the dream team in the 90s and also having been voted um, MVP for the NBA himself at one time. So um, he was saying that Serbia, you know, was a team to watch, you know, made him a little bit nervous. Um, and that Javik wasn't afraid of anybody, taken in context. Um, and here we see it, 17-point deficit. U.S. men's basketball had to overcome for the win at 95-91 with Steph Curry, turning out a three-pointer in the last minute, uh, last seconds of the game, with 36 points overall, LeBron James with the triple-double, and um, Joel B bringing it up with rebounds and additional offensive points. So gold medal on the line. Woman dies after getting caught in baggage carousel at the airport. A woman died Thursday morning at Chicago O'Hare International Airport after getting caught in a baggage carousel, officials told ABC News. The woman who has not yet been identified was 57, according to the Chicago Police Department. Next one, man who served under Walsh says governor retired before unit and deployment news. So I'm kind of glad that I read all that informational stuff up front. So like I said, as comments are made, you can be aware of the comparison to the facts. Nation's oldest and largest Latino civil rights group on endorsing Harris. And um, this one, um, Vanessa Bryant, unveils a statue of uh, Kobe and Gigi, and that was done 8-2-24. Notice that all the numbers that they played under are included in the date of the unveiling. 
Um, it is a bronze statue, to the best of my understanding, but unlike most bronze statues, which kind of configurate on the pose, the expression, things of this nature, this one has color, has color to it. So it um, depicts Kobe and Gigi seated, and I believe there's like wings that come out to embrace them from the sides. Um, so um, if you get a chance to look at a picture of it, I'm quite sure that you, you know, would find it aesthetically pleasing. 8224. Vanessa Bryant unveils new statue. So we have these moments. So, um, Olympics, <laughs> life. So, this is the weekend, you know, try to have some fun. It's still summer. And if you have things you have to do or take care of, at least realize that you can enjoy the moment because this moment flows into another moment. That's it. Hashtag.